his word in them because they're afraid to change to be holy. Amen. I'm serious. Believe, read on. You shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So he wants to bear what? Much fruit. Much fruit. Read on. So shall ye be my disciples. So shall ye be my Christians. No, disciples. Okay. I just want to make sure, brother. <laughs> the word Joshua is pronounced in the Hebrew, is in 30, I mean, it's in 3091 of the Hebrew lexicon, is Yehoshua. Yehoshua. All right? Jo what it means is Yah's salvation. Now, Joshua or Yahshua was, again, watch this now. Let's look at what Joshua did. What he did was, was he bought, this is what this feast day is, this correlation there, was he did, he bought the children of Israel into the promised land. Yeah. See how the name Joshua and Jesus or Joshua and Yahshua are similar? He So Joshua bought the children of Israel into the promised land. But before they went in, they had to do something. They had to circumcise themselves. Because, see, they wasn't circumcised. And all the other people that came out of Egypt, they died all in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. Except Joshua and Caleb. Y'all hearing that? All of them that include Moses. Aaron, too. They gone. Isn't that something? So he circumcised them. All right? Now, what, what day is it required in our covenant that people get circumcised? The eighth day. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the first day and the eighth day are what? Solemn mm -hmm. assembly. Somebody, whoo, we got seven days. No, we really got eight. Yes, What's the eighth day for? What the eighth day is, 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 is that's significant, signifying us going into the new Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. See, y'all remember, y'all remember uh, Samson. Mm -hmm. Samson married a wicked woman. And in, in his marriage, you, the, it shows in the scripture that they had a feast for seven days. Yeah. That they had a wedding feast for seven days. Man, you don't let me. You won't tell me. All that crazy stuff. You know, that's what she was doing. Basically, you know what I mean. But uh, that's, that, that is the significance of this seven days that we're out here. In this tent and booze. You follow me? Y'all see this correlation right here? Mm -hmm. Who is going to come? Who's coming back to get us? Jesus. To bring us into the promised land. Jesus. Jesus is. Mm -hmm. See, all this was done. What this thing wasn't done in the corner. It was done with understanding, brothers and sisters. Amen. There's a reason why all this stuff took place. Even all the way down according to the names of the people that was taking us into. Isn't that something? Amen. Now, I don't know why they come up with all these other names, but y'all also was saying it looks pretty good to me. Y'all also was. Yeah, also was. I ain't going to have no problem. No problem that, man. Hey, are you following me? Mm -hmm. So the number eight in scripture always signifies perfection. Being perfect. Circumcised the eighth day. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Circumcised the eighth day. All right? Um, of course, we know circumcision also is circumcision of the heart. Right. Amen. All right? Of the heart. But in Ezekiel 44, 9, look what it says. Thus said the Lord God, no stranger, uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary right. of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. Right. Boy, y'all be getting it, don't you? They be. They get after it. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so living in booze for these seven days is actually an invitation. We can tell that St. South Carolina had a good time because they laughed all night just about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isn't that right? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Leviticus 23, verse 41. We got two more scriptures. Three more and we're going to finish, all right? Let me show you that I did 130, all right? 23, verse 41. It's a time of reflection on the most high. Read on. And ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days How in long? a year. Seven days. In a what? In a year. Read on. It shall be a statute forever in your generation. Hold it. Wait a minute. 
Now, why are some of these folks, they can set up and say, okay, the Sabbath is a statue forever, but then they bypass this? Let me see. Statue forever. How long is that? Uh, forever. I mean, how do you define forever? Eternity. How do you define eternity? Never end. I mean, the reason why I'm saying it, I, I got to get this on video because there's a lot of you Sabbath keepers out there that don't believe in keeping God's feast days. <laughs> Amen. And I just want you to interpret forever for me since you've already had your mind corrupted from the simplicity in Christ by saying it's all been fulfilled in Christ. And I ain't heard no trumpet yet, have you? <laughs> Amen. Hmm? Amen. I don't see all these people dying because the king has come back and atone, made mm -hmm. an atonement. Nope. I don't even see the new Jerusalem sitting over in, 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 in Jerusalem right now. Do you? I don't see the king on the throne. So how can they all be done in Christ or fulfilled in Christ? Amen. The problem is it's ignorance mm -hmm. and lack of understanding. That's the problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had a guy uh, write me today. He said, man, what a revelation it was when you said that. Christ was reading that over in Isaiah 61, and then he stopped at a certain point, certain place. I was like, man, well, Revelation, we've been talking about that for years. It must be a revelation. I mean, hey, it's new to everybody. Else. Hey, I just thought around here, we just preaching what we all hear all the time. Amen. He did stop. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? All right, read on. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Seven month. You shall dwell in booths seven days. All How long? Seven days. Read on. All that are Israelites. All that are what? Israelites. That's all your rest of you heathens don't even do it. Mm -hmm. Read on. Born shall dwell in booths. All that the Israelites born. Huh? I want to ask a question. King said you must be born, born again. again. That's Israelite born. That's right. Amen. That is Israelite born. Amen. Let me see. Let me read this. I want to make sure, man. Mm -hmm. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> and ye shall keep a feast unto the most high seven days in the year, and it shall be a statue forever Hallelujah. in your generations. And ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Did I read that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, right, let me take my glass back off, brother. Yeah, Go ahead and read it. good. You shall dwell in booths seven days. All that are Israelites born shall dwell in booths. That your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Read on. And Moses declared unto the children of Israel the feasts of the Lord. The what of the Lord? Feasts. See? <laughs> so this is not Moses' law. No. no. Oh. See, they're trying to say that. To say that, you know, we, we don't have no Moses. We ain't got no Moses. Anyway, praise the Lord. All right. Watch this. Nehemiah 8.13. Now, Ezra and the people found the place where Moses had written about the feast.